is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and Joe are watching Craig and Amy. And in this video, we are going to be exploring the Netherlands. At the start of the summer, we decided to plan the ultimate Euro trip. But before we started, we needed a new travel companion to complete the tripod. Someone tidy. Someone reliable. Oh, we're back in the garage. And someone who wouldn't give us any problems. 434 euros. Somehow we were united with custard. A 2001 Mercedes Vario and an all round beautiful little yellow beast. We stripped her down to her pants and gave her a full on makeover. Since then, she has managed to take us through France. We made it to the beach. That is insane. Switzerland. <laughs> I thought it was going to come off and just shoot down the mountain. And Germany. Not sure about this place. Wait for me! <laughs> and she's only thrown us a few problems. But well, we broke it down in the right place because uh, Chris is actually German. Okay, maybe stop pressing it in case it blows up. So I've got underneath this morning and uh, we've lost a chunk of our exhaust pipe. It's been one hell of a ride so far and the next country on the journey is the Netherlands. Not only were we going to learn how clogs were made and how to drive a hot tub. What are you going in? <laughs> but we were going to be driving all kinds of vehicles, exploring some windmills and of course eating everything in sight. frolicking in Germany, we crossed the border into the Netherlands and headed straight for Amsterdam. Let's see it on then. Why are you doing this for? Barry, Barry, blazer. Why sure, are you taking sure, a Michael? blazer. I've never worn it, so don't take the mick if I look too posh. <laughs> <laughs> you got the job, well done. Thanks. You are officially uh, a member of um, Team Beige. What do you think? I mean, you look smart, A nan of the 21st century? Almost like post-apocalyptic homeless. <laughs> well, that's what I was going for. Nah, maybe the blazer doesn't work. But it's whatever. Like, obviously, you've just picked whatever, stuck it together and thought, I'll just wear this today. Guys at home, wear whatever you want. Don't even worry what other people think of you. If someone across the street is looking at you, it's because they fancy you. It's not because you've got stripy top on with camouflage trousers. Well, I made, I made him change. <laughs> so we're at this epic campsite which is right on the river. This is the best pull-up view we've had since we began. We actually got in that river last night. We went for a little run, don't know what we were thinking. And then we just jumped in after. It was really good fun, but we're, as the summer gone, please Craig. What's the plan today, Captain um, Beige? The plan today is to head to like a little museum. We hadn't realized it yet, but our microphone started messing about. So sorry about the intermittent blips for the first half of this video. There's not that many though, so don't cry about it. Museum type village called Zahn's Shams or something, possibly. Don't shoot me. And have a wander about, just have a look at all cultural things, everything Dutch and cute and clog-like. We got ourselves two push bikes, a must do in the Neds, because the tandems were all sold out. Fuming. So this is just outside Amsterdam and there's a canals. Everyone's got a little bridge that goes to their house. It's awesome. So the place we're heading to right now is renowned for having windmills and they're some of the best around. Got the little highlights on the red. Excuse me. You had a good time so far then babes. I have. I, I... Like, come rain or shine, you'll find Keenan outside playing somewhere. I can't wait for a stroop walk. Somebody commented the other day and they said, do you guys ever have a bad day? And just so you know, we have multiple bad days. It does happen. You don't want to see that. We don't want to film it. But just so everyone knows, 
it does happen. We are normal people, but obviously we make these videos, one, to entertain you, and two, to show you cool places to go. So, yeah, we do have down days. Everyone Great does. Can be right. Hanging around with this little fruit salad, it happens quite often. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say without preaching, you know, but... Preach! Just like count, count your blessings every day. Don't let little things get to you. Just, just project love out there and it'll only come back to you. And then, and then you're winning in life, basically. Amen. You know? Amen, And sister. if you have a bad day because you just, you just feel down, tomorrow's another day, you know? Tomorrow is a new day or the same day is a new start. Have a shower, get yeah. out there. Yeah. Do some judo. Just try your best guys, honestly. Like we show you all these things to do. I really do hope you guys just get outside and do something, you know? Cost us 20 euros for a couple of bikes and we're having a great day already. I mean I'm not happy that it's not an e-bike or a tandem bike or has a basket, but that's fine. But for now, that's <laughs> Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Wait for me. I am never hanging around with Craig Holmes again. The bike ride was more of a tour de flip in France, but I won't complain because we met a big friendly dog called Sam. Life made. <laughs> what Good a boy. boy. Oh boy. We stopped off for a sandwich. Bike, bike for about. Seven and a half minutes and I'm starving, Craig. <laughs> 45 minutes later and we've made it to the windmills of... Sounds of Sons. Thanks, Nick. Craig's like, oh, let's get some bikes. We'll make a day of it. I'm never coming out with you again, Craig. It's the rubbishest idea ever. Imagine uh, imagine taking a slug out on a bike Quarter ride. Quarter past three it is. I think it closes at five. What's the point? What's the point? S Sally slug over here. <laughs> Craig, my legs feel like jelly, Craig. So we have made it to the Zanschans neighbourhood. Um, Mark's out ten in the description for the um, pronunciation. I'll give you a word right now. No. Tell us about windmills then. What's happening with them? So um, in this, um, this is a working neighbourhood from 18th and 19th century. Cool, let's go. <laughs> I've heard that there's um, a frog making workshop here, which I'm super excited about. Do you know the reason why the clogs were wooden? No. Me neither. But we're about to find out. <laughs> do they move? Oh, they do move. I won't try moving in them. Are you taking my picture? There yeah, ready? Ah. <laughs> wooden, wooden, <laughs> the wooden shoe workshop. Calm down, I'm excited you are. <laughs> Tricking clogs, Christmas clogs, London Fashion Week clogs, and uh, if you plan on getting married. They're the ones, Craig. I will take a pair of them. You probably prefer those ones, Joe. Red's your colour. Look at that, that's the Cinderella of all clogs, Craig. Now that's my kind of car, do you know what I mean? I'll either take one of them or some Crocs. So I've already got all the information I need. I didn't realise it, but clogs are made. They're like the medieval version of like steel cap toe boots in this generation. Steel cap toe boots. Steel toe cap boots, yeah, that's what I said. So farmers use them so like the cows don't stand on their toes and they use them in factories for if any tools are dropped. And they're still used today. Over three million of them are produced here in Holland a year. Um, obviously not that popular though if you've got 50% off, you know what I'm saying? So you have to take a guess on how much a pair of clogs were. Just a standard pair of clogs. Standard pair of clogs. 10 euros. 70. Are you serious? Yeah, 70 euros. You want to know what goes into them? They're like handcrafted, Craig. The thing is, if you don't work on a farm and you're not a mechanic or you don't work with cows... Fashion, bro. You ain't wearing them around your house, are you? Hey? If you're Dutch, please comment below whether you have a house pair of clogs or not. <laughs>
<laughs> now this is a compromise I can deal with. We were saying it the other day when we came into the cold weather that we need some slippers for custard. So I mean, the perfect colour, really. You've got you've got a choice, mate. Whatever you fancy. Nothing. I mean, nothing is stopping us in this weather. In that right aim. Absolutely, Craig. Storms coming. The matter. Amy, you're gonna love this. What is it? Someone's getting married over there. Hey. Look how excited you are. She looks like a princess. One day. You can climb upstairs. When it's a little bit drier, you can go outside on the platform. This is the highest windmill with the best view. Oh, brilliant. And it's not so crowdy anymore, so. Great, let's take the big one. That's right. So we're in the tallest windmill in this area and um, the guy was like, where would you guys come from? Five euros to get in, not complaining about that. And he said, oh, we're from Wales. We've got an actual Welsh thing. We were like, oh, we don't actually speak Welsh. <laughs> Can't understand the word that says. <laughs> but I was thinking about it as we were coming up to the windmill. We are like, what do they actually do? And I thought it was something about grinding up like grain to make bread. Look at this. I think this is what they actually do. No, I told you what they do. They make wind for the earth. They make wind for the earth. That was Amy's guess. Oh, I take it back. It's not grains, it's actually chalk. <laughs> <laughs> so it says that each of these stones weigh 3,000 kilos and they grind up the chalk and they use the chalk for like artists' pastels and they also use it for um, doing the lines on football fields. So when you see the white lines all marked out, it comes from Holland, mate. It comes from a bloody windmill. It still makes the wind for the earth. <laughs> Is this your first time inside a windmill? It is, Craig. Are you having a great time? I wish we could have a sleepover. Well, it's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. I've done me gansy up wrong, hang on. Windmill, bro. Windmill, 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 that's it. Gunto! Craig! Turn of that cost. <laughs> We're all Zan Shan now. Um, there's loads to do here. You can do boat trips and there's like different factories that show you how they make things. There's a storm coming in and we need to bike home in time to give the bikes back to this guy. I mean, what's it? You've got his number. Can you ring him and tell him to come and pick us up? <laughs> so you could give us a lift. It's very, very Dutch, isn't it? Yeah. It, it just encompasses everything that you think about Holland and it's it's beautiful. It's really. a little, it is a little bit of a tourist trap. Like everything's expensive. You've got to yeah. pay for the toilet and... Yeah. But it's worth a visit for sure. Yeah, we were sort of debating whether or not to come here or to go to the Kinder's... Kinder Gin... Drink one. And I think that one's less touristy. But this is good. This has got all the workshops and all the museums and things. So definitely yeah. worth a go. <laughs> if you're a little sap, you can go to the museum. <laughs> We're only not going because it's closed. Day 32 on the King and It bike ride. Oh, there she is. <laughs> We're about halfway and it's just started raining, but we ain't complaining. Are you back there, ET, or what? Microphone's broken, so if the sound doesn't sound great, it's because it literally just broke. Aww. So we have to get a new one today. Um, so today, where have we made it? Amy's absolutely in her element this morning. Six o'clock in the morning, I was like, Great, get up, we're I've going never shopping. Seen her so keen to get up and out this morning. She was up before me, can you believe it? If you watch King and It vlogs, you know that. This doesn't matter what country we're in. When was the last car boot sale we had? Uzbekistan. Uh, you find them everywhere. Mongolia, Uzbekistan. Yeah, Mongolia was really good. But I bought shorts there too. Well, like, we've been we've round a little bit there. I've already got a pair of uh, Lee's finest. Tell the people where we are, will you? Don't keep them hanging. Oh, so we're in a place called... Um, NDSM. NDSM. So, I'll do your job for you. Yeah, so usually it's, in, it's an indoor and it is the biggest... A flea market in Europe. You which buy loads of fleas here. Yeah. It just makes me so happy to know that. And I think now that they've become so big that it's come outside. So, um, so give us six hours here and then we'll move on. Pray for me, lads. I'm looking for bathing suits, I want bikinis, I want shorts, 
anything holiday, and I get this for like 750. All right, that's a, that's a bit on the steep side. My bartering skills aren't that good, but oh, I'll see you later. You got four euros left to spend. <laughs> no. <laughs> so when I walk up and down these markets, it takes me about three minutes per row. I'm like a terminator, I scan everything. I'm like, nope, nothing for me. Amy goes through every single pile, every single bin, the back bins, underneath the table bins. She spends about 45 minutes per store, so it's gonna be a long day. You might have to stay an extra week in Amsterdam. But do you need it though? Do you need that in your life? If things are like two euros, then I need them. That's two euros, you can have it. <laughs> so we decided to get ourselves a Scoot Amsterdam scooter. So you can, it's like a rental around Amsterdam, you can pick up a scooter, which most definitely is one of the best ways to see the city. Super convenient, super quick, and as you're going through all like the little alleyways and stuff, you get to see all the coffee shops and all the good food and kind of what where you want to pick to go to eat, so it's class. So when the guy turned up, he goes, oh, you've, you've both driven them before, right? And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> obviously, I'm not the one that's gonna be driving. So we decided we'd share and that obviously, the best driver is gonna drive. Don't talk to me, I'm hungry. Lego. So the coolest thing about Scoot Amsterdam is whenever you're staying in the city, they all come and drop these to you so you can just go off and explore and then they come and pick them up. How good is that? Okay, so we stopped at the camera shop. This is what it sounds like without a microphone. And this is what it sounds like with a microphone. So uh, all the people who are asking us what mic we use, we use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which is incredible. For 269 pounds. But it ain't cheap, but it's worth it. Let's get some food. Let's get some food for this boy, honestly. I'm trying to play with him. I'm like joking, making him laugh. And he's we just like, damage. if looks could kill, honestly. Let's get you a falafel. <laughs> What have I ordered? Um, I never really know how to say this word, but um, a chicken shawarma, shawarma, um, vegan of course. Hashtag vegan life. It's been good to me these last seven weeks, apart from when I had cheese. I only got it because the guy sat behind you, just got it on his plate, and I was like, that looks good. Oh yeah. You might want to send that back row, it looks a bit mouldy. It's a McChicken something or other. Yeah. It's got a blue bun. Awesome. It's got cheese. Oh my goodness. Bacon. I'm not sure what it's called, like fake bacon. Yeah. It looks amazing. How's it taste though? That's the thing. Beautiful. You're going to stop threatening me now. <laughs> Now we're gonna head to another must-do activity in Amsterdam, and of course, another great way to see the city. There is patches of sunshine, but it did just belt it down, and we've picked a marvelous day for a self-driven boat. Babes, this is a rather big boat for just me and you. How many licenses are you gonna make me get then? <laughs> I got about 16. So whereas Craig today is our captain of the ship, I have a much more exciting and important job. I'm the protector of the ship. So if he does anything wrong and start, we start going into the side of the bank, I'm the one that has to jab us out so we don't lose our deposit. Oh look out lads, Captain B is actually a captain for once. Look at this. Um, just watch yourself, Craig. Get that paddle ready, yeah? <laughs> captain B, Captain, Captain B, <laughs> Captain B in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. You can say to that for that deposit, Craig. The 
dessert. Oh my nan, I can't even describe to you right now what it smells like. I placed my order. <laughs> so it's a street waffle. So oh, here we go. Um, so it's it's very Dutch, and it's it's like a waffle, like a like a stretchy waffle with caramel inside that that breaks nice. Oh, it breaks good. And then you, you eat it, and it's sensational. So I've actually got my own recipe. So um, if you watch Kingnet, you probably know that I don't eat chocolate nearly 11 years strong it was a bet they usually do like a, a chocolate spread on one half so that everything sticks to it but um they've just put some of the inside caramel on top and then loads of fudge bits oh god it smells amazing so i have to wait a minute she told me it'd be too hot to eat now um it's been lovely working with you craig thank you for all these wonderful years we've had together um but i'm out <laughs> Got a bit cold, and me and Captain Donut by here. Don't no, don't say that now. I just caught a glimpse of myself in a in a shop <laughs> window, and I was like. You actually look like a fat donut. So uh, we got I some. Sprinkle some sugar on me, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> we got some warm clothes. We didn't bring any on this trip, really. Um, but yeah, if you've never been to Amsterdam before, it's got everything. Yeah. You can get desserts. You can get waffles. Oh, you didn't see that street waffle because um, I inhaled it because I'm a fat donut. <laughs> you can do a beer bike tour. You can rent a scooter, as you've seen. You can do a river cruise. You can go to museums. They've got. A body works museum which is super creepy but really cool yeah but it is a top city it's one of my favorites and mine yeah? yeah it is yeah it can get a bit touristy here because it's like stag do's and hen do's but it's touristy like we always say for a reason it's amazing there's so much to do here you could spend months in amsterdam and never see every corner of it definitely like i feel like that's that's why i like the city so much is because there's such a good buzz because everyone's here to have a good time they're all here on like an anniversary or a birthday or someone's hen do so everyone's just out to have, have fun and yeah as i was saying as we were as we were driving on the on the boat you, the streets are just lined with coffee shops dessert shops and really good tasty food they mm. do they do it well here they do i feel like if we lived here i'd be 22 stone and i would look like my coat in uh four weeks give it four <laughs> go weeks. stand over there let's have a Let's get a shot of what you saw in the, in the window. <laughs> get it round! <laughs> you look full. I love donuts. Before we left the Netherlands, we had one more city to explore and we made our way in Custard down to Rotterdam to check out the hot tub scene. The boat we're going on today requires us to be in our smalls. <laughs> this is our boat. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely warm. So we're out in Rotterdam. We made it to the middle of the city. It was a bit of a busy morning, wasn't it? It was, a, it was chaotic. We don't film everything, but we had to park quite far out because of custard. Um, but now we're in the hot tug, which is incredible. And we're just floating down the river. It's self-driven. There's like an actual fire with a chimney letting out smoke. It smells lush as well. It smells like burning yeah. wood. So we've got this, this hot tug for an hour and a half. You could do like a whole loop through the canals and he said you can swim in the river as well. Amazing. So you can just jump out of the hot tug. And look at the and then weather. Get back in. Yeah, the sun's come out for us again. We're getting so jammy with this weather. Yeah. It's unbelievable. So we've got a little lime green number. Yep, beautiful. And uh, yeah, let's just have a cruise. So can you tell by now that we don't like walking? <laughs> if, if it's like anything to do with exercise, we're like, nah, we'll take a hot tug instead. <laughs> So the guy that told us how to work this hot tug said this actually folds down but I can't it's quite heavy I can't get it so you have to just be careful with the bridges you go under that it doesn't just travel. So 
I think we're alright with this one. Just go really slow, Craig. If we're not though, we're buggered. Maybe put it down. Oh, good, Craig. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, we definitely would have been. Drive, drive, drive. <laughs> drive, drive. <laughs> Calm down, this is a relaxing boat trip. No, you is not. Mm -hmm. I can't do it, Clay. Stop it. Chimney's too heavy, Clay. What are you going in? <laughs> he literally takes over for two seconds. Ah. Drives straight into the side. Are you jumping in the river? No, I don't think so. Why? I don't know. Maybe I will. I think you should. The sun's gone in now though and it's, it's lovely and warm inside but it's really cold outside. If you jump in the river I'll do the dishes. No, don't start that again because did you do the dishes Craig? Yeah. No you didn't. Didn't last night, you're not left. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record our next fight and I'm going to make everyone be on my side. Whatever. Alright lads, he's up. The guy told us that we could swim. I don't know if he was joking or not but... No, there's a, there's a ladder on the side of the boat. Go on, Craig. Hot dog. Oh! Cold. I think he was joking. It's freezing. Yeah, I wouldn't expect it. You just got out of the hot tub into the canal. Oh, I like Rotterdam. It's nice, isn't it? It's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> look at the look at the backdrop we've got. spoiled you are Craig. Do you even know how many activities we've done on this trip? We are so spoiled. Aren't we? I'm so grateful though. It's not like we do these things and we take them for granted. No way. Like we're on this hot tub now and he's just like, oh this is my favourite thing ever to do in the world and I'm jumping off and lower the swim. Uh, and we are, we don't ever take this for granted. Like we are so lucky to do what we do. And uh, we, uh, we love it as well because we, we get to find these experiences and everybody says like oh it's so cool that you found this and they book on and you know people have been to Iceland people have bought buses because of us they've yeah. done all like loads of the activities that we've done so we get so many emails don't we yeah so it's great that we get to inspire you guys to try something new and and you know plan a trip and put some of these activities in because you've got to do them they're so good like when can you ever just sit in a hot tub and cruise down a river in Rotterdam in Rotterdam I haven't got a boat license do you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't even need one they just give you a boat do you know why you're the most luckiest though because of me because you've got a fella like me <laughs> that puts up with you I will do everything with you. Kept me up till three in the morning with diarrhea last night, but it's fine. No, I wasn't well. <laughs> it was Ash Ashwarama -ma Mama. Kanye West album signing in Rotterdam today. Spotted. I was in bed last night and I've actually decided, I don't know what I think about this, that I look more like a potato, like if you... Oh, I've got too much stuff and hang on a minute. It's definitely too hot for that today. Oh, it's boiling, mate. There's loads of secret pockets. It's wicked. <laughs> Just hope. Oh, oh, How much stuff have you got there? La potato. <laughs> <laughs> you are a jack of potato in disguise. Can I? She is. Custard the bus. Ah, oh, cup of tea for the lads now. This potato is cooked. <laughs> Next time on King In It, we head to our fifth and final country on this amazing road trip, Belgium. Starting with the stunning city of Brussels, where Amy nearly gets robbed by a small child. So this is the moment uh, one of the scooters yeah, goes missing. Yeah, be ca very careful. Don't tell your mum. You here for the interview? No, I'm absolutely starving. Nice to meet you. Stop it. And finishing in the equally quaint Bruges, where we see another small child peeing. Go on, son. Go on, my son find out how to torture people by right, getting now we're gonna make you a human sandwich that tip goes up your bum and just have a bloody good time on the road in custard mm -hmm.